Good morning, Talawanda. Today is Friday, April 6, 2018. Best Buddy members will be meeting Tuesday after school. This is the last meeting of the year. Don't forget to turn in your permission slip, permission slip and $6 to Miss Sammons on Tuesday. For AP students, pre-administration sessions will occur during early release on Wednesday, April 18th, April 18th and April 25th. You must attend either one of these sessions. Miami Regional Admissions will be in the Guidance Office on Tuesday, April 10th during tutorial. Along with the admission details, Kathy Lamb will be from the Tutoring and Learning Center will be hand-on giving students information about free college readiness programs over the summer at Miami Hamilton. Any students who are interested, including seniors who would like an option for local colleges are encouraged to attend. And now for questions from for the prom committee. Is there going to be good music at prom? So everyone was kind of disappointed in the music last year, so we're hoping that this year we can take more input from other students and have more songs that they want played. Is the food going to be the same as last year, or is it going to be different? Like, what kind of food will you guys have? Yeah, I guess the food will be really good. Um, I get we're still kind of planning that out, but uh, sure, the food will be great. Um, what's the theme for prom? The theme's a surprise. Birthdays for today, Caitlin Cheek, who will be turning 18. And now for war news, and then Patty G with sports. The U.S. is considering tariffs on an additional $100 billion in Chinese products, which means we would have to pay for more goods. And this is in response to the Chinese trying to put $50 billion on us. Last night, the boys and girls track teams both had a strong showing at their first home meet of the season. Both the girls and boys 4x800 relay teams placed second. The girls won the 4x100 and 4x4, and the boys placed with a solid performance in the 4x4. Leading field events were the Talawanda triple jumpers, Kyra Kuntz in the long jump, Val Green in the high jump, Terrell Wills in the shot put, and Casey Terman in the pole vault. Leading the running for the girls was Kyra Kuntz in the 100 hurdles, Ainsley Clark in the 100 and 200 dash, and Sophie Mack in the hurdles and 100 dash. Maddie Yiden dominated the two mile. There were also strong finishes from Libby Farmer in the 800 and Ashley Baxter in the mile. Also, special shout out to Ossia Walsh. Leading the boys was Justin Browning in the 110 hurdles and David Croucher winning both the mile and the 800. The boys placed second at the meet and the girls took the first place by 65 points. Come out and support the Braves at their next meet that's in Eaton on Tuesday. The varsity tennis team defeated Little Miami last night 3-2 to improve their record to 3-1 with out-of-conference win against Fenwick and Monroe. Victories came from first signals Nick Vandenberg, first doubles Wally Kelly and Josh DeWitt, and second doubles Ty Hornsby and Connor Schlade. Good luck to the team tonight when they face Wyoming at 4. The boys' baseball team fell to Baden last night by a score of 15-1 at home. Their record falls to 0-3, and they'll take on Little Miami tonight on the road. In other sports news, Minnesota, Duluth, and Notre Dame advanced to the Frozen Four semifinals last night. They'll meet in the national championship tomorrow night on ESPN. And in the Masters, the current leader is Jordan Spieth, who shot a 600 first-round score of 66. Tiger Woods is tied for 28th at 1 over par. Another home game sport today, freshman and JV boys baseball will take on Little Miami at 5. Girls softball also takes on Little Miami at 5 as well. Also, good luck to the lacrosse team who visits Anderson tonight. That's a broadcast here on this Friday. I'm Patrick Eshin. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you tomorrow.